Hi, I'm Rob. We're here at Maltmiller HQ today to take a look at our complete solution for a brew in the bag brewing system. Now we're able to provide this setup in 25 litre, 35 litre, 50, 70 litre and 100 litre versions. So it's basically the same setup with just different size kettles to allow you to brew different batch sizes. Each different kettle size, we're also offering the option of adding a gas burner. Brewing on the gas burner does give you several advantages. You're not gonna be filling your kitchen or home with the steam and the smells that are associated with brewing. It also gets you out of the kitchen. It gives you your own space and you're not got to worry about the other people that are interfering with the brewing process. Let's take a closer look at the gas burner. Now these are made in Italy. We import them over from Italy. They're in a pressed steel frame that's powder coated and the actual gas burner itself is made of cast iron. The frame is incredibly heavy duty and is perfectly suited for up to 100 litre kettles. They have a power output of seven and a half kilowatts and included with the gas burner is the relevant regulator for a propane bottle and two meters of high pressure gas hose. The system ships with a magnetically coupled pump that's capable of pumping up to 32 litres a minute of up to boiling liquid. It has half inch hose barbs for both the input and the output, which connects to the supplied two metres of silicon tubing. Each kettle has a stainless steel half inch ball valve that also has a hose barb, which connects to the supplied silicon tubing. We wanted to make the kettle as flexible as possible. Therefore, we're shipping it with both a bazooka type hop filter, which is suitable for whole leaf hops. If you want to use pellets, it's no problem with this kettle. We can remove the hop filter and use the supplied pickup tube. This in conjunction with the pump means that you can whirlpool, which concentrates the hot pellets into a cone so that you can draw clear work from the side of the kettle. To allow the user full control over the system, we utilize the ball valve on the bottom of the kettle that connects to the pump, which then pumps the work to the top of the kettle and we can utilize the whirlpool return to control the speed of the whirlpool at the end of the boil. This whole whirlpool system can also be used to recirculate the work during the mashing process. This has a couple of advantages, giving you clearer wort and also more even temperature distribution within the mashing grains. Using the whirlpool return, not only can we adjust the flow rate, but we can also adjust the angle at which the wort returns to the kettle. This means the whirlpool can be used no matter how much liquid is inside the kettle. The whole process can be monitored using the integrated dial temperature gauge. We've had these grain bags tailor-made for each different size kettle. They're super strong, super easy to clean at the end of the brew day, and they allow you to use this setup as a single vessel brewing the bag system. With the 35 litre version of this setup, you can actually brew a 23 litre or 40 pint batch using the no sparge me method. Now we've recently done that and actually achieved 85% mash efficiency. At the Malt Miller, we're big proponents of the buy once, use forever philosophy. Now this setup here will be very useful in the future if you decide to expand your brewing system to a two or three vessel setup. We believe these systems offer fantastic value for money. They're great for beginners or people that are stepping up from kits into all grain brewing. The brew in the bag method of brewing is so flexible, it's nice and easy to get into, and we know loads of you are using this method to brew. You've got a whole load of tips and tricks, so let us know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to our channel, click the bell, and you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.